Pole Wick is a little idea I had about six months ago and it shows you how other road users are trying to kill me all day long. You're going to see dash cam recordings displaying some of the poor behaviours you're going to have to deal with when you're out on the road. And if you want to protect yourself in these situations then stick around, I'll show you how. If you enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more. Okay, this one comes up all the time. Lane 1 at the roundabout is for turning left only. We want lane 2 to follow the road ahead. But you've got to keep your eye on lane 1 in that door mirror of yours because often drivers will follow the road ahead even though they're supposed to turn left. And that's exactly what's going to happen here in a moment. As we start to bring the car forward slowly, just keep an eye on that left hand lane there. The driver should be turning left but he doesn't, he follows the road ahead, it's very, very dangerous. We can either ease off on the gas, let him go past or we can change our position if we know what's around us and if it's safe to do so. At uh, this roundabout we need to follow the road ahead using the right hand lane, left lane is for turning left only. Notice though that the OD should be going left and he just doesn't, it's all too common I'm afraid keep your eye on those door mirrors. In this clip don't trust that the taxi driver is going to do the right thing. We have to stay in lane 2 a little bit longer, ease off the gas to let him go, then we can come back to lane 1. We shouldn't have had to do all that. Okay it's an horrible day and we can see the lorry is indicating to turn left. However he's got no business being in this lane at all, he should have followed the roundabout round. Okay, with this one we are leaving at an exit from a roundabout and uh, we can see the lanes are merging together so we've got the first car that's just gone in front of us but keep looking in the door mirror for the next one. Oh, there he is, cut it a little bit too sharp I think and then he had to brake. My pupil and I are approaching a junction where you have to position the car more to the right for a right turn. The road markings there are clearly visible. Final check on the mirrors before we go and we notice that the rider approaching on the moped is positioned in the left lane so we're good to go right? Check again. <laughs> He's decided to go round us on the footpath just looking at that left mirror and here he comes. Oh dear. In this clip we are positioned to turn right, the road markings are clear. We're going to be turning right at the roundabout. You can see there's uh, road works going on to the left there. So we've got a vehicle behind us that should be going left and they do decide to change their mind and follow our exit from the left hand lane. Just keep your eye on the, the, the cream one there. So we're going to have to ease off on the gas, we're going to have to let him go and have to check that mirror again before we come back across. In this clip we want to go right to the roundabout. Another check on the mirror and we see a heavy goods vehicle. It's in lane one, therefore most road users would expect it to proceed left or indeed follow the road ahead, but not here. Look at the indicator. Due to the length of the vehicle, the driver may have decided to use the left lane to complete a right turn. It may even be a foreign vehicle and the driver is not clear on how to position the vehicle correctly and safely. Either way, I always teach my pupils to avoid getting into a situation where you are side by side with something on a roundabout. You're just asking for trouble. Okay, this is a dangerous one there. We want to go right at the roundabout. It's a spiral roundabout. So at this point here, we want to start spiraling to the left. Check the mirror now. We can see there's a Mercedes there in the lane to the left of us already. He's already in that left lane. He's got no business being there. He should have spiraled along with us. But he was already in lane one very, very early. He used the horn. We had to stay out of uh, lane one until it was safe to come back again. It was a very scary moment. My heart just stops when I watch this clip. I don't think there's any explanation necessary. If you enjoyed this movie, then hit the subscribe button and you can see Paul Wick, Chapter 2.